All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over, should you get into cybersecurity or should you get into networking? So that's uh, those are the two main um, tracks. Actually, I wouldn't say the two main tracks. I would say the main track is software. Um, everyone seems to be running to software um, in terms of the IT field. Um, but I've seen, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed um, that there's a big trend right now that everyone's pushing for cybersecurity, which is interesting because it's a, it's a very niche field itself. Um, but um, it seems like a lot of people are jumping to cybersecurity and they don't know other industries what to expect and what you have to learn to become a cybersecurity engineer because cybersecurity is a very extensive and niche field. Uh, but I'll, I'll get into that. So um, so there's two these, these two tracks, right? So what is let's first talk about what is networking. So networking is basically um, you're basically working with the Internet, right? The, the Internet is a bunch of lines, a bunch of cables all over the world. Me talking to you right now. Um, there's a cable that goes into my home, my home rotom that goes into a, a center that that goes into some sort of like co-location or it goes into some sort of like hub where all the traffic goes there and then it goes to another hub and all these are connected using fiber optical lines, right? Um, the way you're talking to me now is literally there's there's in real time. It's crazy. The, the way networking works is actually just is genuinely remarkable the way it works, but um, it, it like this traffic the how we're talking now there's packets flowing through the network as we speak at this very moment um fu funny enough and this these packets are are um if you're in india if you're in japan it's literally going through underwater sea cables which is just crazy that this is happening and the fact that the world is connected right now is just honestly just amazing um so that's just what we do as network engineers we're literally connecting the world um and it's we do the behind the scenes that you guys don't don't see there's literally data centers with thousands and thousands of routers switchers optical gear that all need to be maintained all need to be upgraded all need to be troubleshooted so that's basically what network engineers are re reliable for are, are, are basically what we do on a day-to-day -day basis you're either troubleshooting you're either repairing you're either upgrading you're either designing there's many tracks you can get into networking it's a very fascinating field um, there's a lot to know. It's a, it, I wouldn't say it's a difficult field to learn, but it's a hard to get. It, I'll be honest. It's a hard field to get a grasp of, especially in networking, because I mean, you see the internet, you see your, you're logged into YouTube right now. You just see that it looks nice. Right. But in the behind the scenes, there's a lot that's going on and making sure, you know, traffic is optimized, making sure, you know, it's taking the best path, making sure there's a, there's a lot of things to, 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 to know. Um, and there's a lot that goes on. So just know that this field is, you know, it's always probably going to exist because the internet's probably going to exist for a decent amount of time until we have something else. But at the current moment, it's a field that's very stable. And anyone who tells you that is not stable, um, or just don't know what they're talking about, because obviously they're talking about, there's also cloud, but I don't want to get into too many side chat. I feel like I'm getting into way too many side tangents, um, but that's networking. Now there's cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is essentially a field where um, you're protecting companies' property. That's at the base level. That's the whole point of, of, of cybersecurity. It's to protect people's privacy and data. Simple as that, right? Because there are hackers in this world. There's bad actors in this world. There's people who want to take stuff, take information, take data, take money from comp corporations. And corporations, especially like big corporations, they are holding very um, valuable data and assets that the company needs right and the company should the, the people that the, the only people looking at those assets are only people who work at that specific company right so for, to protect that you have to you know put into place cyber cyber security which is basically like putting in rules putting in regulations putting in a bunch of things right um and like i said i'm not a cyber security engineer myself although i do find it as a very fascinating field that i do know some folks that work in cyber security um, and it's a very, it's a very niche field. Um, but that's cybersecurity in, in essence, like you're basically there to protect companies' properties. Uh, you're literally the security network you're making, like there's a blue team and a, and a red, uh, is, it, is it, yeah, blue and red. Um, so one team's like more of like the offensive side where they're looking to hack stuff, to break stuff, to see what their vulnerabilities are. And there's another team that's there to protect and things like that. And obviously there's penetration testing. There's multiple things that you get into it with cyber. Um, you're going to have to know a little bit about everything, right? You have to know what cloud is, what networking is, what soft, how, how do you software? Because you're probably going to use a lot of automation in that field. So cyber encompasses a ton of fields. It's an umbrella because you're protecting all the assets that businesses use, which is obviously cloud, which is obviously networking. Um, you have to understand a lot databases as well. Um, there's a lot that goes on with cyber. Um, so just that's something that you guys have to understand is that 
you will have to have a good grasp of multiple genres of, uh, of technology, multiple fields of tech to really understand, to really have a good understanding of cyber and really and to become a really good cybersecurity engineer. Um, you have, you would have to know that. So, um, that's cybersecurity in a nutshell. Obviously there's way more to it. And if you guys, by the way, if you guys are also in cyber, please comment down below what you, what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm really intrigued by that. Um, it's a really interesting field and I would love to learn more about that. So, uh, feel free to do that. So, um, back to the, 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 the two fields, cyber and networking. So which field should you get into? That's the main question you're going to be asking yourself, right? Um, well, the first thing you have to ask yourself is what field do you like? What, like, do you, what field draws you, right? And it, it may be hard to really answer that question because if you're not in either field, you really don't know. So to be honest, just pick a, pick a field. Honestly, pick a field, learn, learn about it or learn both and see which one you like the best, right? But keep in mind, networking is bare bones networking. Cyber is cloud networking, a little bit about programming, um, database security. There's a lot that goes into cyber. So the thing with networking is, um, you're just going to be focusing on networking. You're only going to be learning the IP side, the optical side. That's it. With cyber, you're going to be learning a lot more and there's a lot more involved. There's also, I mean, I'm reading this book right now. It's, um, if you guys don't know, this is the CISSP, which is like a very extensive exam. Um, and this book is just crazy. And if you guys ever want to get into cyber, get the stamp. If you have experience, get the CISSP. Like don't even waste your time. Like this is probably the best thing the best certification you guys can get um, for cybersecurity from what I've heard. Um, it's, it's, it's an excellent certification. I'm looking in, I'm starting to read it cause I just want to learn, learn more about it. Um, but it's a good certification by the way. So I'll, I'll probably make a video about the CISSP, but um, back to cybersecurity networking, both fields are wonderful fields. Um, uh, in terms of pay though, hands down cybersecurity pays the most 100%. Like you can, you could, if you, if you're only there to make money and you just want to, you know, go crazy with money, cybersecurity, right? Um, although networking, you know, you can definitely make more, de make decent money with networking. Um, cybersecurity, this is a niche field and it's ever changing. There's, you know, um, you're, cause the thing about it with cybersecurity, you're saving the company millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, you're protecting so much property. So <laughs> of course they're going to pay you handsomely to make sure, you know, you guys are protecting the property of, of, of the company, especially now, like with all these hacks going on, um, it's, it's, it's crazy. The, the, the amount of damage that, that can be done. For example, if you guys know the, the cloud strike attack that happened recently, it wasn't really an attack. It was more of a bug, but that could have been an attack and see how much damage it caused. It cost companies billions of dollars. So it makes sense why cybersecurity is a hundred percent needed in this industry and it will always be needed. So, um, yeah, it, that's cybersecurity. Obviously when networking, you're working in the net, in the internet, you're working, making sure you can make phone calls, tech messages, watch online videos anything right so both fields are wonderful um the thing i like about networking though and i always bring this up is that when networking you can learn after you learn networking you can move to cyber the skills in networking transfer over to cyber right which is freaking amazing because let's say you do networking for like three four five years after that time you're like hey i want to do in the cyber it's going to be a smooth transition because you're just you're just going to learn the other aspects of it but that you're having that network baseline fundamental skill is going to help you tremendously. Um, and also there's another field called network security. And within that network security field, you're basically doing sort of like cybersecurity, like you're basically doing security work, but you're only focused on the networking side. So if you guys really like security field and networking, there's another field called like network security, which is also a niche field of networking. And yeah, that, that field, obviously you're going to have to need experience in networking and that's going to take time for you to get. But if you can land that sort of position after um, a decent amount of years of experience, you know, they'll, they'll pay well, and if not better than cybersecurity, because cybersecurity, like I said, it's an umbrella term. And I'll, I would even say network security is also included in cybersecurity, although some people will say it's not, uh, but it really just depends on who you're talking to, right? So those are the two, um, which one to decide? I can't decide for you. It's based off your, what you want. Like, do you want to work with actual fiber? Like if you guys want to touch stuff and break stuff and like work with equipment and actually go to data centers and things like that, do networking. If you guys want to protect millions, like companies property, um, you know, you may need security clearances for it. You're doing um, very secretive work. Like you feel like a hacker, go for that. Um, it's all up to you. Um, it really just depends on which one floats your boat. I'll, but I'll say this, that cybersecurity is going to be much more difficult to get into than networking in my opinion. Um, although they're both need a, def a decent level of experience. Um, now in terms of certifications, um, like I said, the CISSP, 
is probably the best. But the thing with this certification is that you need um, five years of experience or four years of experience um, if you do have a college degree. So it, it just depends on what you want. Um, but another good certification is also the CompTIA Security Plus. Um, but in terms of the market right now, this is the gold standard for uh, for cybersecurity. Uh, for networking, like I said, it's the CCNA. Um, that's like the gold standard um, right now. But if you guys should also you know, include some other certifications um, as well. Maybe add a little bit of Juniper onto that, uh, but also do projects on the side, like build, you know, break stuff, test stuff. Um, and like, you know, work on packet tracer, get your own routing equipment, you know, play around, have fun, right? That's the whole point of this is to don't focus on the theory in the, in the books, like actually get real world experience, right? Because uh, you don't want to be the person who has all these certifications, but struggle to do the task because you don't have any experience. So like I said, always focus on getting experience and you should always be good. So um, hopefully that answers you guys' questions. If you want to get into cyber or you want to get into networking, it really just depends on whatever you want. It's just, you know, one is one has different aspects and another, another one the uh, networking has different aspects so um with that being said everyone uh thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want to comment down below if you are on cyber go ahead and let me know if you're on cyber and what you're doing it and i'm really interested in uh hearing from you guys uh, with that being said everyone thank you so much for watching this video um if you guys want to subscribe and watch more videos like this feel free to subscribe if not that's cool uh, but yeah give it a like if you like it and with that being said everyone peace